And so people are so quick to criticize. The Rock, who has an amazing physique, the guy's in his 50s. Bro need to work on calves, it's time. Bro skipped leg day. He aged from legs, LOL. Legs, death skull fake. Coach Greg, in today's video, The Rock claps back. Previously, The Rock posted a video of his back and chest workout showing you that he doesn't train as heavy as he used to, that he had a shoulder injury. Yet in the video, he was pressing 275 pounds on the Incline Smith machine, but in the video, he had 275 pounds and he only managed to get eight reps and all those reps were only half reps and so he received massive criticism the rock doesn't know how to train he's only doing half reps where's the range of motion on this given day zero reps were performed and so in today's video he wanted to show people that he does not ego lift that he uses great form great technique and he does in fact do a lot of volume saturday back chest training keeping volume high close grip cable roll four sets of 20 reps on the 20th rep a deep stretch at the bottom and hold and squeeze for five seconds it's a bitch but very effective give it a shot have a productive weekend and do some fun shit don't be boring like me and so first things first I don't think anyone thinks that The Rock lives a boring lifestyle. And so although he wakes up at 4.30 to train, he's the hardest worker in the room, I don't think that qualifies him as being boring. The guy has cheat days, he enjoys his life, he's traveling the world, and so The Rock lives anything but a boring life. And so trust me, you can in fact work hard, you can in fact live a healthy lifestyle, and not be considered boring. Many people think bodybuilders simply lift things up, put them down, eat five to seven meals a day, and sleep eight to 12 hours doing nothing fun. Nothing could be further from the truth. You can live a very fun life, go out, have fun with your friends, go to the movies, dancing at the bars. You can do everything. There will always be time for both. It's all about balance. Not only that, you can in fact do cardio and still lift weights. It's not a one or the other. For example, myself, I'm racing and bikes going to the gym and I'm having a fun productive life and so as The Rock begins to demonstrate his form his control the fact that he's using great mind muscle connection that he's doing everything right rather than applauding The Rock for using higher reps to train safely this is what the people notice when's leg day of course it's gonna happen why do they say this well as The Rock's about to perform his set he's not flexing his legs and his legs don't appear to be that large and so people are so quick to criticize The Rock who has an amazing physique the guy's in his 50s bro need to work on calves it's time bro skipped leg day he aged from legs lol legs death skull fake The Rock skips leg day bro needs more leg exercises is it me or legs look like they or CGI'd. He is already old. Look at his condition. Skip leg day. Your legs are slim. Chicken legs. And so The Rock is simply showing you a video about how to do a seated row using mind muscle control with high reps to give you an effective workout to try at your own home. And most of the comments, rather than saying, thanks Rock, good effort, good job, it's you have chicken legs. You have small legs. Did you skip leg day? Your legs suck. And do The Rock's legs actually suck? Well, considering his 50s, let's consider this. As you get older, oftentimes the body parts that are first to go are the extremities. Perhaps you didn't know this. The arms and legs, the first muscles to go. Many people in their 50s, they still have an amazing back. Their chest development's there. They still have shoulders, but their legs and arms seem to fall behind. He's in his 50s. And considering that, do I think that The Rock somehow has inadequate legs? Of course not. Are you serious? And so as he begins the exercise, you see him leaning forward to grab the handles. Notice his arms are closer to the camera than his legs. And so at this very moment, you're looking at his arms in comparison to his legs. And you're thinking, why are his arms so big compared to his legs? He must have small legs. I mean, visually look at it. Do you not see just how massive his arms really are? And if you're being honest and fair and compare it to his legs, he clearly has way bigger arms than his legs. But does he really? And so I'm gonna teach you a little bit something about how cameras work and or mirrors. Whatever is closer to you in a camera lens or in a mirror is gonna appear larger than things that are further back. And so when bodybuilders take photos with their friends, the majority of them are trying to out angle the person that they're standing next to. 
they lean forward, put their arms ahead and say, wow, look how big my arms are. If your head is back and your arms forward, your arms might possibly look better in your head. But do you think it really is? And so when you take a photo with three bodybuilders, whichever person's arms are closer to camera, they're gonna appear much larger than everyone else. By looking at a photo, you may think, wow, that person is so much bigger than that other person. In bodybuilding competitions, they have a line which everyone is supposed to stand on. Everyone is trying to sneak a little bit closer to judges. Even a couple inches can give you the illusion that you're bigger than your opponent. And so in this very position, The Rock is leaning forward, his arms are much closer to his legs. And so because of this, his arms appear larger than they are and his legs appear smaller than they are. But let's now look as he performs the exercise when he sits back. And so as he begins to do the exercise, as he places his foot forward, Notice how much bigger his leg already becomes in comparison to his arms. You can clearly see the legs far larger than his arms. And this was just two seconds later in the video. And notice the detailed definition in his quads as well as in his hamstrings. The guy has clearly defined hamstrings. His hamstrings, they literally drop underneath him. Notice the lines, the detail, the roundness. Guy has hamstrings for days. And on top of that, look at the quads. You try to convince me that The Rock does not have clearly defined, extremely well-muscled quads and hamstrings. This is superior leg development. I kid you not. And remember, if The Rock did not have such an amazing upper body, everyone would be talking about The Rock's legs. You put The Rock's legs on an average individual or even above average, it's going to be their best body part. Clearly, the guy's training his legs. You do not get legs like this from running marathons or skipping leg day. These were the legs The Rock built after years of hard training. Decades, in fact. And in the next exercise, as The Rock begins to pull the bar into his stomach, Look at the quads and hamstring development. Does that look like the development of a guy who skips leg day? And so for hundreds of people to see The Rock's legs and say he skips leg day, no wonder people are not posting photos of their legs. If these are the legs of a guy that skips leg day, well then 99.9% .9 of the world will never show their legs. And in looking at his calves, does The Rock have massive calves? No, but remember, The Rock is very tall and he has a long tibia. The longer the tibia, the more difficult it is to have very massive calves. But does he have no calves or does he avoid training calves? Of course not. The guy still has calves, but you're taking a photo of The Rock from the front. The calf muscle is located on the posterior of the leg. And so if you're looking at someone from the front and judging how much muscle they have on the back, be like saying, hey, that girl, she has no glutes. But you're looking at her from the front. You have to at least have them turn around to actually look at their muscles. And if The Rock is not flexing his calves, is it going to look massive? We've all seen a sleeper build standing like that and they flex and suddenly it comes alive. You can't judge how well developed a muscle is without the person actually flexing it. And so to criticize and say The Rock has no legs, that his quads, hamstrings and calves are underdeveloped. Are you kidding me? What's wrong with you? And no wonder people develop body dysmorphia. The Rock, who has an amazing physique, he's literally famous for his physique. Yet even with this and assuming that The Rock, perhaps he's not natural, given the fact that he has a physique like this in his 50s, and y'all are saying, oh, it's not impressive. He probably skips leg day. And so what hope do the rest of us have? And consider that I recently posted a physique update and the comments were, oh my goodness, you lost all your muscle. Look at that loose hanging skin. What happened to Coach Greg? He lost all his size. I'm a five foot six man lit, 189 pounds with about eight and a half percent body fat. Yet I don't have much muscle. And so this is the problem. Society standards for what looks, it's ridiculous. Chris Bumstead on stage, wow, amazing. Chris Bumstead in the off season, oh, that's a dad bod. Jason Momoa, dad bod. And so it's gotten so bad that if you don't have single digit body fat, people saying you're fat. Remember the guy from Twilight? He was 16 years of age, 140 pounds. Made the next movie, 175 pounds. Put on 35 pounds of muscle. Oh, is he natural? What do you think? He's freaking 16, putting on 35 pounds of muscle. And so did you see that physique? How incredible it was? Yet in future movies, oh, he lost all his muscle. He looks horrible. Well, he went off steroids, probably natural. Yet his physique in those later movies, it still looked great. He was still lean, he was still healthy, but he didn't have a chiseled, rock-hard six-pack, of which he was training twice a day and probably using performance-enhancing drugs. And so the standards of today have gotten so ridiculous that even guys that we assume are on performance-enhancing drugs, when they show their physiques, people are still hypercritical. 
Oh, wow. You probably skip leg day. Oh my goodness. You have a wrinkle. You have a line. You're not 5% body fat. How dare you show your physique? And so I think it's really sad for The Rock to post a video trying to help people learn how to perform an exercise, to use higher volume, to be healthy, to be safe. And yet the people who watch a video, all they can comment on is how small his legs are. Now remember, no matter how big or small your muscles are, the most important muscle in the human body is in fact your heart. And to train the heart, please do 150 minutes of cardio a week. And if you want to improve your cardio, the best supplement to use, look no further than GO2 Max, the main ingredient NMN recently banned on Amazon. That's right, the FDA is trying to classify it as a drug, but it's available right now on my website. And remember, double-blind placebo-controlled human studies showing just how effective this really is. 50% improvements in the walking test score. It's been discussed on the Joe Rogan podcast with Andrew Huberman and various other professionals. This is the number one supplement that I recommend, even more important than creatine. Click the link in the description, code Greg, 10% off, buy in bulk and save. Let me know in the comments section, are y'all ridiculous saying that The Rock has small legs that he skipped leg day? What is wrong with you people? Subscribe, click the bell button, comment for the algorithm. Don't forget to watch one of those two videos. Really going to help. And of course, liking and subscribing to the channel, that would be a huge favor to me. If you don't have any money, you can't buy all the stuff I sell, you know, the cookbooks, the training books, all that stuff, please go to my website anyway. You get a free diet and training program. It's over 50 pages. I want everyone to get in the shape of their life. Follow me on the gram, Greg Doucette, IPB Pro. And until next time, I am out.